Salutations, New Greekies. Before we get started, I just want to say I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. I know I did. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for 282 subscribers. That means the world to me. Thank you. And I'm super excited to make more videos before the end of the year. Let's make 2020 somewhat good. <laughs> And you guys made this one of the best years of my life, even though it was very rough for everyone. I hope I was able to make life just a little bit better for you. So thank you guys very much, and I hope you enjoy the video. Salutations, Nick Rikis. Welcome back to another video, and I hope you guys all enjoyed your Christmas break. I know I did. Sure, I wasn't gone for very long, but it was long for me, because I love making videos for you guys. Anyways. We are going to be getting started with another Five Nights at Freddy's Custom Plus Showcase. I know it's been a while since I've done one, but I wanted to bring it back, so let's get into this! Alright, starting us off, we have a very nicely done Mini Arena uh, Custom Plush. It is styled after, like, Ennard and Baby. I wouldn't really say Ballora. I don't think any other plush is styled after that night one but uh it looks really really good i um i really like the head shaped they got the facial features n uh, done nicely the tone of the skin is perfect and they even got the skirt it's really nicely done i very much enjoy this plush and it just makes me want funko to actually make a mini arena plush but i don't think we're ever gonna get that lucky <clears throat> uh the one thing that does look a little different from this is from the actual design is that the mini arenas are extremely thin but this is a plush so I'm very happy that they decided to take um, that direction so all in all good plush next up is a rockstar Bonnie one of my favorite of the rock stars personally because of his voice in ultimate custom night alone was awesome but Anyways, the plush looks amazing. The blue is nice. The bow tie looks amazing. The star, which I'm very impressed with. I can barely cut out stars when I was making customs, so I just didn't do those. Um, the ears are very cute. The face is adorable. The muzzle, or what some people like to call the snoot. But it's really nicely done. I very much like this plush, and uh, it's a good thing to have in their collection. Um, I think they forgot the cheeks. But, I don't know, that could just be me and my bad eyesight. <laughs> all in all, amazing plush and great, great job. Next up, we have Golden Freddy. This Golden Freddy looks amazing. And I love the eyes. The bow tie is adorable. The body is so cute. And I love the face and the hat is amazing. It's all so spot on. I'm... Not very surprised that a lot of people have been making Golden Freddy customs because, yet again, the Golden Freddy plush is very rare. And I'm very lucky that I have it, but that's just because I got it when it first released, but some people didn't. So, I can see why they made a custom, and it looks really good. I would be very proud to have that in my collection. Alrighty, next up is this very nicely done Liberty Chica. I think it is extremely good. It, the colors are very accurate. The beak is very cutely done. The eyes are so be like big, like it has like those beady eyes, and I find that adorable. The crown is amazing, and the um, they decided to leave out the legs, which I would too, because it gives it more of a dress effect for this plush, and it looks amazing. The only thing that would have made it perfect was. Um, the cupcake but it's kind of hard to make one that's on fire so I see why they left it like this and I think it looks amazing nonetheless very uh, very nicely done it's very nicely made all right next up we have a Mendo plush this is the first that I've seen I've never seen a Mendo plush before or a Mendo custom uh, anything because um, Mendo is a very unpopular character due to him only appearing in FNAF world and not many people liking FNAF World, he didn't gain many fans. And he wasn't one of the characters from FNAF World that Scott bought back. So, I'm just very impressed that he got a plush, and this is very nicely done. It has the endoskeleton body, it has the uh, face nicely done, the eyes, all overall very nice plush. Next up, we have this incredible July the 4th Freddy. 
This looks very nice. They have the sunglasses, the hat with the white and red stripes. The eyes are on point. The muzzle is adorable. The suit is amazing. The red bow tie. It's overall nicely, nicely done. It is extremely well sewn. It is looking very, very nice. And I very much enjoyed this plush. Great job to the person who made this. Next up, we have a Molten Freddy. We have seen a lot of Molten Freddies on this channel. Each one looks so unique. That's why Molten Freddy is one of my most favorite of the plushies to review because each one is different. And this one is a really, really, really good plush of Molten Freddy. The eyes are different colors. I love that detail to them. It looks more like Endard's body. So that's good, like from the actual video game. And the face, the orange is very nice and apparent. The teeth are nicely done. The eye with like the yellow, the orange hat, the ears, and the messed up eye. It's really, really nicely done. And I completely, completely recommend you trying to make one for yourself if you would want a Molten Freddy. And I would base it off of this design. It's very nicely done. Okay, next up is one that actually brings me back to that old um, image when people used to think that um, uh, this was a real character. Um, it's Sparky the Dog, I think is his name. If I'm not, please correct me in the comments below. But this plush is very, very nicely done. The teeth look very nice. The eyes are huge and um, are very huge and like beady eyes. Uh, the body is gray with the red bow tie or is a collar no it's a collar my bad and it has the yellow um part to the collar on it and it looks very nice i like how they position the arms that's a lot different than what we're used to with the funko style and i think it looks really good on this plush i think it fits the character more due to it being a dog i know it's not an official character but it's still a really good replica and a very good design so i could see why they would make it great job Next up, we have a Frostbite Balloon Boy plush. This is a first. I have not uh, done a FNAF News video recently, so I'm going to start doing those again to let you guys know when uh, skins are out. But I'm very, very, very impressed with this plush because it's nicely done for the balloon. It has the icicles on as well as the head. Um, it is very, like, the colors are uh, accurate. It would have... Uh, like, I would add a little more blue to the body, but other than that, it looks really good. And a great job for a character that we have barely seen yet. So it's um, it's a fairly new character, as I, I, as I recall. So great job. All right. I have a feeling this is a trend now. There's another Sparky the dog. Uh, this one is also very nice. The collar looks nice. Uh, the eyes look like he's very mad. There's the teeth. And the dog ears, one's... Um, bent and the other one's uh, tall it's very nicely done next up we have this incredible looking withered bonnie i've always been impressed with the withered bonnies that have been shown on this um on this series i really like the wires on the arm it's a very nice detail the silver um endoskeleton that they decided to add to the plush it looks very nice the eyes coming uh, the wires coming down the face the teeth bow tie and this one's completely hand sewn it's not custom from a regular bonnie so that's what i'm very impressed with with these ones so really really good job all right next up we have another golden freddy um i really like this style and you can see it being compared to uh funko freddy so it is a bit taller but um you're you're never gonna be able to like get the proportions exactly accurate unless you're very very experienced with it but because I can never get it right um, but I really like it I love the hat on how big it is I love the bow tie it looks really well sewn uh, the eyes are nice the nose and uh, has the uh, ears with the brown inside uh, the brown inner ear it looks very very nice great job all right next up is this reindeer looking animatronic I don't know who this is if someone knows uh, who it is please let me know in the comments below but I really like it um, I don't know if it's an official Scott design but or character, but I really, really like this. If someone knows where it's from, please let me know. I'd love to look more into it. This is a great plush. I love the snout, uh, the eyes with the yellow, the yellow uh, pupils, the antlers, and like uh, the tear on the stomach, as well as those wires popping out and the bow tie. It looks really, really nice all in all. Uh, kind of reminds me of that character from FNAF World. What was it, Bubba? 
I, I believe it was his name, but um, yeah, great job. All right, next we have a Shamrock Freddy. This one is really, really nice. I think it's um, the same person who made the Golden Freddy, I believe, but it's because it's being compared to the same Freddy. But this one is really nicely done, and um, uh, I really like uh, the green. Uh, like they got the both greens right. Like they got the top hat. They got the darker green, the lighter uh, green for the uh, for the color of the skin, and green for the bow tie. I'm pretty sure he has a chain, but you're not going to put an actual chain on a plush unless you decide to cut that out. But that would take forever. So I see why they decided to take this approach, and it's very nicely done. I would love to have a Shamrock Freddy in my collection one day. Who knows? I might make it. All right. Next up, we have uh, Rockstar Bonnie again. And this one looks incredible. You can definitely tell that um, uh, this one is made by the same person who made the Golden Freddy and possibly uh, the Shamrock Freddy because it has the Golden Freddy in this image. But all in all, this plush looks amazing. The details are there. It has a star, the bow, the correct color for his skin. It's the dark blue and the light blue for the inner ears and the muzzle and the, like, in the palms of the hands and the feet. It looks really good. I love uh, how small he made the eyes to make him look more like Rockstar Bonnie's. The cheeks are there, and the nose it looks like it's made from an actual button. I, I think I've noticed that from all three of those plushes. So, really, really good job. I'm very impressed. And lastly, and definitely not least, we have this Avalanche Balloon Boy custom. This one looks incredible. They have the sign, the snow on it, the balloon. Um, and with the icicle shards everywhere sure it's gonna be weighed down but this still looks amazing I love it as the icicles on the top of the head the um, black pupils and the smiling mouth the teeth it has the icicle shards the correct coloring for the everywhere it looks incredible I'm very very impressed the sewing must have taken forever and it was very nicely done I'm I've reviewed some of your plushes before and I've liked all of them so amazing, amazing job. Keep up the good work, and I'm very happy that you're that you have an Avalanche Balloon Boy to add to your collection. And that's gonna do it for this video. I just want to say amazing job, everyone, for sending in the plushes. I had a blast going through them. They were all amazing. Great job. You are all very talented people. But with that being said, all credit goes to the people who made these plushes, not me. The people who made them are the talent. They are the ones who made the plushes, so they get the credit. They took a lot of uh, hard work and uh, effort to make these plushes, and they look amazing. I hope you guys like them too. And if you guys want to send me your own customs, link in the description below to my Discord server, so you guys will be able to submit your own on FNAF um, on Custom Plus submission. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and. If, make sure you guys comment like and subscribe turn on that notification bell and, and if you guys are new please consider joining the Nicker family for almost daily gaming content I love you guys all and I'll see you in the next video roll the credits